Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskies. Today I have something very exotic. This is Teeling. No, not exotic. 14 years old. Well, it's getting better. Single cast Teeling. This is the first of the series of Wonders of Wood. And this was actually finished in, in a M. Borana cask. One of 282 bottles worldwide. Single cask. Whiskey base number 170. Four five two, um, the master distiller and master blender is what I'm going to call him as well as the Alex um, Chasco. Uh, he did this experiment. Fifty six point nine percent alcohol by volume, yay! And what he did, I think, it was with the aviators. Um, he actually gave them a couple different of his experiments, and they liked this one the best. And so they actually bottled this up for Christmas. Why? Because it's supposed to smell and taste like hold your horses. Carrot cake. <laughs> oh, I read that. I was like, nah, you're crazy. No. Um, Amburana is from Brazil. It's a hardwood. It's not something I think I've ever worked with. I used to be a cabinet maker. And they do actually use that wood sometimes for a special type of sugar cane a liquor down there in Brazil that they make casks from that. And so somehow Alex got his hands on one of those casks and tried this. This was cask number 33297, just in case you're looking. And there will be other um, wonders of wood coming out in the future. I paid 125 euros. I went to um, Teeling... It's not teeling.ie, um, it's not teeling.com, I think it's teeling um, whiskey or teelingdistillery.com. They have a shop there where you can actually buy, at least over here in Europe, and you can sell it to Europe, they can sell you this bottle. So it's a 2006 and finished for how many months, I don't know, in this Amborana <laughs> and I get carrot cake. It's not even hold my nose up to it, it's, 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 a, it's a clovey type of cinnamon type of walnut type of carrot cake, it's amazing. No, I didn't. If I eliminate the word carrot cake, I get walnuts, I get um, cinnamon, I get cloves, I get wood, I get barley, I get a brown, a dark honey, um, and maybe a little bit even of a fr uh, uh, um, exotic fruit, fruit, maybe a little bit of a mango. The carrot cake is the perfect description of this. This carrot cake in a glass. Is it worth 125 euros? Well, we'll find out. It's 56.9%. I'm going to nip and then I'll put some water in it, take it down to about 48, 50%, and that's where my sweet spot is. Mm. So, uh, alcohol, uh, mm, carrot cake. <laughs> so, carrot cake, alcohol, carrot cake. And it's got a fairly long finish. It's the the the, um, the 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 taste profile actually continues on and on and on. It doesn't die down yet. Nice, nice. There's a tiny little bit of that bitterness of a walnut in there. All right, so I put it down to about 50%, which I love. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Got rid of all that heat that was really bothering me there. Ah. Oh, this is unique. This is special. My mommy used to say I'm special. <laughs> this bottle is very special. One of 228 um, bottles worldwide. It's a single cask, wonders of wood. I hope to be able to buy some more bottles in the future. Um, mm, I like this. I really do. If you want carrot cake in a bottle, go to um, the website, buy this, and enjoy. I, mean, I, I have the feeling, though, that this is something I would tire of um, relatively quickly. I've done my German video, and I was like, wow, and I'm doing my English video, it's like, yeah, hmm, I think I want something else soon in my glass. This is not something that really, really is going to um, fascinate me for weeks, months, years. This is a very short love type of specialness. And it's over. I'm still going to give it a B minus as a taste. 
I like the taste a lot. I diluted it down to 25% in my other video in German and it was absolutely fantastic as well. There's a lot, there's a lot, there's a lot going on in here. Let's see if I can go in between my sweet spot and the hot spot. And let's see if I can just do that and see if I can pick up anything else in here. <coughs> that cinnamon just rolls on and on and on. There was a feta can from an independent distiller, um, independent, I'm sorry, independent bottler over here in Germany. Um, Tom, a guy who I work with, Anan Abe, and he somehow found a, a very unique cask of feta can, and it tasted like cinnamon buns. And he just thought, oh, that's interesting. Let's, I'm going to take that and bottle that and just use it as a single cask. And um, over here, we love cinnamon buns, um, especially in Bavaria and other parts of Germany. And so people were like the, at, the, at the whiskey fairs and the whiskey festivals going, hey, so what do you have? Well, there's like a cinnamon, but yeah, it is. Go over there to Tom. You can buy a bottle of it. And um, a, a lot of people did, and they sold out at, what, I think, at the second whiskey fair. It was gone. Um, and then what happened is a friend of mine, an acquaintance of mine, he actually um, had the bottle. And what he does is he just, every single time, he puts 2CL of every new open bottle into his Infinity bottle. And without even knowing, he just opened the bottle up, poured the 2CL, put it in the Infinity bottle, tried it, was like, oh, this really is the, the cinnamon bun, bun. And then he went over to his Infinity bottle a few days later and was like, it's cinnamon. <laughs> And the 2CL basically infused itself into the 30, 40, 50 CL that were there and just changed the entire taste profile. And I have no idea exactly what it was that did it, if it was the cask, if it was the spirit, if it was something going wrong, if it's a special type of ester or whatever, a conjinger that did it, but um, it actually took over the bottle, just like peat would take over a bottle as well, and the, the, the cinnamon did that, so... A very light, colorful, nice floral note here at the beginning. Hmm. A little bit of honeydew. Honeydew with, with cinnamon on it. The alcohol is a little bit too strong for me. It's probably for other people to be, ah, oh, perfect. Mm, that's a good one. I'm going to, as I said, I'm going to give this a B minus, a very unique, very special, very good bottling. Um, I'm sure the 228 bottles are all, all, all gone by the time you get to see this video. I'm sorry. That's a problem with single casks in Ireland at the moment. Even though the price tag of 125 euros is a little bit steep, Value for money, I'm going to give it a D plus, C minus. Um, yes, it's single cask. Yes, it's 14 years old. Yes, it's 56.9%. Yes, it has probably very expensive finish in the Emborana um, Brazilian hardwood cask. But still, 125 euros for this bottle. For me, the threshold is always at 100 euros. Anything above that has to be special. What did I just call this? Special. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to give it a B minus and a, and a C minus for value for money. Um, there's a, there's, I'm sure there's 228, 28 people out there that are going to just um, buy this, enjoy this, and share it with others. And that's all you have to do. And that's all I want you to do is share it with others because this is something so special. I shared my bottle already. Um, this is gone, actually. Um, and so I'm going to be very, very... Um, interested to see what other people are saying over here in Germany about my nice little cinnamon bun, um, um, carrot cake, teeling, umbrana, single cask, world, um, wonder of wood uh, series, number one. Thank you very much, Alex, for this. I enjoyed it thoroughly. Well done. Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany, tasting weird, exotic, and um, rare whiskeys. Um, please give me a thumb up. Please share this video with others, maybe other uh, Irish whiskey fans. I do a lot of Irish whiskeys, especially exclusives that you can only get in Ireland or in Europe. And thank you very much for watching. All the best. See you soon. Bye-bye.